There are many videos on YouTube that say the universe is a hologram and that everything is just an illusion. But even a hologram needs a physical process to produce and maintain it as a three-dimensional image. If our universe is a hologram or uses the holographic principle in some way, then this process must be universal and woven into the fabric of space and time. I believe such a process would not work like a piece of holographic film interacting with a laser. The process would have the dynamic geometry of three-dimensional space-time with a built-in symmetry at every moment of time. In fact the process would look very similar to what we are seeing in this video clip. Imagine you are the frog looking out at the universe from the center of your own reference frame and the parabolic mirrors represent the symmetry and curvature of space-time explained in Einstein's relativity. In a holographic universe the big question is are you real or are you just a hologram? In other words are you the solid frog made of particles or are you the frog made of light waves? Most people would say they are the solid frog because you can feel you are made of particles and the virtual image would not exist without the solid one. But there is something not explained here and that something is time itself as a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Therefore we can ask the question what are we over a period of time? Let's say what were we over the last fifty years? Were we particles or waves? In a new theory called quantum atom theory an artist theory on the physics of time as a physical process we are waves over a period of time and particles only in the moment of now within our own reference frame. In this theory the physical process that forms the flow of time is the continuous inward absorption and outward emission of light. This gives us an objective understanding to quantum mechanics with the quantum wave particle function or probability function representing the forward passage of time itself with the future unfolding photon by photon. Therefore Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the probability wave function is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force in this theory electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process with the electrical potential of consciousness always being in the moment of now within its own reference frame looking out at creation. There are many videos on YouTube that explain this theory in far greater detail therefore I am going back to explain how the holographic principle is employed in this process Holographic film uses a laser to form an illumination beam with a beam splitter forming a secondary beam known as a reference beam that forms the interference pattern that in turn forms a virtual image. In this theory the process is formed naturally by the continuous inward absorption of light representing the illumination beam and the outer emission of light represents the reference beam that forms the interference pattern within that reference frame. The beam splitter is represented by a photon-electron coupling forming a quantum jump of energy that in this theory represents a new moment in time, the moment of now, within that reference frame with time unfolding photon by photon. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force the interactive nature of the wave-particle duality of light forms a holographic principle by encoding a description of the volume of space on the boundary of the wave function in the form of electric charge. Nothing could highlight the interactive nature of light more than a telescope. The images we see through a telescope are only relative to the lenses or eyepieces we use. But are we really seeing the universe as it is now, or are we just seeing a hologram? 
When we look out into deep space, we look back in time, in all directions, into the distant past, at the beauty of the stars. If we look at the Andromeda galaxy, we are looking back in time, to a period about two million years ago. That is when the light of the Andromeda galaxy started its long journey towards the Earth. The closer we observe something, the less time can elapse. Light from the stars takes years to reach us, but light from the planets take only a matter of minutes, and moonlight takes only seconds to reach us. Because this process is universal, even the light from everyday objects must take a fraction of a second to reach us. Therefore, all we ever really see is a hologram of the past, formed within the eye of the individual observer. Only the moment of now is real, for each individual within their own reference frame. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this theory.